Three years ago, this lake in the Mexican city of Jalapa was a cesspool, a toxic soup of stormwater runoff and sewage from homes surrounding the lake. When we, before we started, there were lots of microalgae floating on the surface. There were bad odors. There were some dead fish. So it was really uh, very polluted. Thanks to these floating carpets of vegetation, the fish are back. They remove nutrients uh, through the roots, and they uh, also stop the coliforms, or the bad bacteria, let's put them that way, from going uh, into the rest of the lake. They are acting as a filter, but they are uh, improving the water quality. They're called constructed wetlands, or CWs. Scientists at the Institute of Environmental Biotechnology in Veracruz built their wetlands using papyrus and a plant called Galapagos leaf. Their roots filter contaminants, reduce pollution, and increase oxygen levels. The scientists behind this project are hoping that this innovative system can serve as a model to other communities to help decontaminate their lakes and rivers. Researchers anchored the plants in a bed of volcanic gravel inside plastic crates. Empty plastic water bottles keep the crates afloat. It's a low-cost solution to a massive problem. Olguin says it only costs $20 per square meter to build the wetlands. Similar floating wetlands have been growing in popularity in Europe, China, and the U.S. The idea is to replicate this water treatment system, which so far has been very efficient in this area, and that's the plan to extend it to other bodies of water in the... It's a green solution in more ways than one. Unlike conventional water treatment plants, the only energy the artificial wetlands consume is from the sun. Marta Markovitz, DCTV, Jalapa, Mexico.